Hello everybody. Uh, this video is dedicated for the components. We'll we will discuss components, several ways of dealing with them. Very importantly, that components are a very important issue for us. We can always produce schedules out of them. So we have to be very careful with that. Components should include all of these. Should include doors and windows as well. But uh, Revit opted to uh, separate these two all together. So you, you can uh, input over here from components, component, place a component. You can input uh, all furniture, all uh, caseworks, uh, all toilet uh, and kitchen appliances, um, uh, human beings, cars, uh, uh, like the one that we uh, will do as an uh, elevator, anything virtually that you can create a family or an RFA family, Revit family for it, you can insert it using a component. Uh, if you select place component over here, there is a load family. And of course, we, we, uh, we learned previously that if you go to insert and load family, you can load the family without using it. But here you can load it and use it as uh, well. So what I did, uh, just to save you some time, uh, I searched for an elevator family that I want to use. So, uh, and I saved it in the tutorial folder. So I'll go like place component and normally it will show me the preloaded uh, families for the components uh, in the template. And I can say load family. Of course, this will take me over here, which is the US metric folder. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to E and search for our tutorials. And these are the different uh, things that we're going to use. We, I will use this uh, Schindler 330NA transaction, attraction, sorry, attraction elevator machine room, which is a real 3D uh, elevator. And we will use it and I'll show you how can we uh, do it and uh, uh, the website in the coming minutes. So I'm going to say open to that and it will load itself. The, 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 the original file is from uh, uh, Autodesk Revit 2015, so you're going to need a, a couple of seconds to uh, upgrade the file. And once loaded in your project, it will be part of your project, so you shouldn't worry about that. It's a one-time process. And yeah, this is the one. And uh, just to show you, we can flip it. And this is, uh, this, the, the right part will be the, right, the part of uh, uh, the door. And we will place it somewhere over here. Yes, it's, it's good enough. And we can click it like that. Now, as you can see, this is the door. And I want the door to be from this side. So I, I input it like uh, that. What I can just show you simply click on the, the element and click on the selection box and you can see that this is the uh, full room. Uh, this is the elevator. This is the elevator, you can see it's a full 3D uh, object. Now what we can do over here is we can, because you know that all of its elements it's going through the uh, uh, the roof uh, because the settings are not correct. So what we will do, we will search for a setting that would help us assign the top level of our work, maybe in the edit type. And we will go like, okay, where is it? Travel height. And in the travel height, we'll put that as 4,000. And once we say, okay, if everything is in place, you can see now that's that's the elevator. This is how it looks. And there are certain things that we need to do and we will do it. But first of all, let me show you something. I already went to a website called 
BIM object. And this website is fully endorsed by Autodesk. It's totally free for the users. You don't need to pay, to pay any money. All of you have to do is just simply to register using a username and a password. And that's what you're going to do. So what I did, I went to a search product and then I typed in the word elevator and there are uh, different brand names like cone elevators and escalators and a Schindler and uh, sorry I cannot read this word thighs burn crop elevator and I chose this one and you can see now this is the one that I downloaded which is the 3300 low and there is this uh, different uh, the moving walks and uh, uh, or this one maybe no this not the, this one the, the one that I uh, downloaded so uh, there is escalators as you can see and there are other things all of you have to do as I said you need to register you click on it and it's gonna take a moment and it says that this is the elevator name and when it was published and uh, all of the, the data and information related uh, to this uh, elevator and RVT file you say download it say RVT it will give you the whole file name and you'll say download this is where it will ask you to input your uh, uh, information so all of the data needed is there you can download there are hundreds of thousands of um, uh, families that's ready to be used and it can help you uh, uh, minimize the number of hours you need to customize a certain family because lots of things are there it can help you as you wish so let me just do that now I would like to do some work I can do the following I can select the floor from here and go to the 0GF and as you can see now the floor is selected it will be difficult to select it from this view and once you do that you can say edit boundary why am I doing that because I want to create uh, an opening for uh, this uh, elevator something like that and I will say okay and once I you go to the 3d now you can see now we made an opening for this elevator which is the right thing to do now uh, again what we need to do is to select these walls okay hold the control and there you go and just simply give them a base constraint base offset of say 1525 and just look at the 3d and you can see now the wall is extended downwards and all you have to do is right now is to fix in a certain floor to close the gap of uh, the uh, uh, the gap created by the elevator now let me do some work and let's go to place a component as you can see there are different sizes and at the elevator sorry I shouldn't place an elevator over here it's a mistake the elevator needs a door and uh, what I did I'll, as well uh, I'll go to load family I uh, also downloaded an elevator door from uh, the internet and I will go like open again it's a very old door and it needs a wall as you can see we will put it inside and we can just simply make sure that the door of the elevator and the door of 
uh, that will be inserted inside the uh, do, uh, the wall will be aligned because they should be aligned we can use the align command to help us doing that okay this is the one and this is the one and we can connect them together perfect just look at them in a 3d how it will look in a 3d oh it's very difficult to look at them from here what we can do in order to uh, help us is to go to the 3d and okay there is a staircase 3d yes that's the one and what is it what we can do is we can just simply take it down a little bit okay more yeah there you go this is the door of the elevator which is looks good looks just good we can click on it we can copy it to clipboard align to copy it to the first floor there you go it's copied right now and we can see that in the coming seconds just perfect this is the one and it looks good as well so this these are the settings that we need uh, to work with uh, what else can we do we can do some uh, some furnishing component place a component and let me just select something there that's uh, this one which is a desk oh this is very big okay we'll take a smaller one uh, it looks very big you can see now it fits within a room and the room itself is identified by rabbit so i need to just simply create or input the uh, disk over here i can go to component place a component uh, component place a component load family and i can simply select the metric library go to furniture and go to seating there are the seating that we would like to use okay i'm going to use this one this one which is chair executive and i'm going to flip it at the middle that's great i'm going to select these two and simply copy them to the different rooms oh i should have copy make them a multiple and select them and put them here we can add some sofas and some uh, coffee tables and these things as well we can go to place component load family and uh, let's go to plumbing architectural fixtures water closet and i'll select this one no that not that one this one i'll say open and i'll add it over here over here and load family uh, let's go to uh, sinks these are kitchen sinks vanity round vanity square that's the one and we can input it around here maybe i need to input it around here and around here and maybe i need to uh, flip this and again oh i need to rotate it just like that and input it over here so i need to 
see uh, oh okay because what we need is the plumbing the sanitary should go through the chase so it will be easier if i fix it here and fix the other one and so on and so forth so let's go back to this one this view and just just take a look over to uh, we have to go a little bit down yes maybe down a little bit that will be showing the toilets yes that's a good one and it shows everything in place that's great except that uh, these are flipped so I'm just flipping them use the space bar and that's great okay now another way to do the job is I can simply open files by themselves I can simply open a file I found a file online which contains everything it contains uh, uh, tables chairs uh, 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 separators lots of things inside it's gonna take a moment to upgrade it from 2011 to 2020 and once I, I found them now I told myself that why not showing the people that they can simply uh, insert the whole RVT file inside our work so I'm opening it just to show you that's a separate file it's a it's not an RFA file it's an RVT file which is very important for everybody to understand and we can uh, pick and choose by selecting whatever that we want uh, from it so this is the file that uh, we wanted and uh, and I, I can simply uh, say control C and come over here not over here but over here and say control V and okay it's a duplication of already existing types of a certain uh, family which is a fell pattern of crosshatch and once I select everything now uh, you can see now now it's, it's it's I want to locate it over here maybe it's not wise to do that in a 3d but yeah there you go it's 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 a it's input over here and say since we are in the 3d view what we can do is we can go to component place a component uh, load family and let's go to what we call entourage uh, that's the entourage and we have a female and a male and we can say open a uh, female and a male I think it, it contains uh, lots of female characters Kathy Cynthia Florence Lisa and Tina and Yen Yen and the, and the male part it's Alex and Wayne Jay and Laurent it's uh, these uh, uh, people that I can uh, add to my work so let me add them in the 2d not rather than do that in the 3d okay so again component place a component that's Kathy and we can simply re on reorient her she where she looks okay she looks here then I will add Lisa and Lisa looking over here I'll add Dwayne and Dwayne is looking maybe we can simply change that okay three is enough let's go over here you can see you can see them and why is that uh, I think you need to uh, see the uh, you cannot see them here but let me show you something I can create a camera which looks 
all over over here there you go these are the people and if you go to realistic you can see them this is Dwayne this is Cynthia and this is I forgot so these are the people that uh, added over here now one of the things that you can deal with is you can simply uh, use uh, going to view and using visibility graphic visibility graphic is a way if you deal with AutoCAD is way of uh, turning off or a freezing a layer but what I can do I can simply turn off all the layer in this view and what I can do as well I can turn off uh, floors and I can turn off uh, whatever I want to so walls and floors say okay you can see now it okay I can turn off doors and windows as well so I'm, I'm just controlling things up uh, that would help me to copy the, uh, the the furniture and the other stuff uh, to the uh, s the first floor that would be easier for me to do that and once everything is done I can simply go to view go to visibility graphics say all then just simply turn them on everything on so components are very important for our work and we can later as I said produce uh, a furniture uh, 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 furniture schedule per room and I can do lots of things with my uh, work especially I can coordinate my work as an architect with the uh, mechanical electrical and plumbing and show them where I want to place things what model I want uh, to use okay great uh, go to the PDF file locate tutorial 9 uh, go to the RVT file locate tutorial 9 and solve the tutorial wishing you all the luck thank you very much